Nicola, Jasmine, going to do your tag. Question one. Did you ever have a crush on a school teacher? Never in my life have I ever had a crush on a school teacher. Um, question two. Do you sing in the bath or the shower? Yes, I do, I do, I do. I used to sing, mostly I would uh, practice in the shower when I was in choirs and chorus in school. We, we sang things in foreign languages and um, you know, like in Latin, they roll their R's and I practiced mine rolling my R's because I volunteered to roll my R's, uh, you know, when, if a word started with an R, the choir director wanted to know how many of us were going to be rolling our R's because he wanted the audience to be able to hear that. So it sounded more authentic. I practice things like that, but I also just sing whatever's in my mind when I'm in the bath or the shower. And, um, yeah, I, I've always done that. Always. I have to find a picture. I have a picture of me singing before I'm a year old. I'm standing up in my crib singing my head off <laughs> so yeah yes 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 number three how many times do you eat in the day you mean meals right because I kind of graze I'll just eat something here and there um but if I, I, I would say between two and three times. No, one and two times, sorry. I really don't eat breakfast. Anyway, um, question four. Have you overcome any of your fears? A great many of them. Oh, yes. And by the way, Jasmine... You should let spiders live in your house because they eat ants, okay? But if, if you really, really can't do that and you need me to take care of a spider, just call me up and I'll be right over and I'll take care of that spider for you. I'll kill him dead. And I'll do that with just about any kind of bug you have. One bug I will not touch. I've only heard it called a potato bug, but it looks like um, no bug you've ever seen. It's weird. Every single part of its body is shaped differently than every other part of its body. And it's like looking at a bunch of killed bugs of like 25 different species and just thrown in a heap you know and then all of a sudden it decided to rise up um I won't touch that bug okay because that bug scares me literally it scares me very much um but yeah, if you've got cockroaches or anything like that, I I stomp on those with my bare feet or hit them with my bare hands. Uh, 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 uh. No. Next question and last. Name a place where you feel true joy in yourself. Oh, well, you've heard all about these places. Um, and I don't know which one qualifies as the most joyful. It's just, 
if I'm there at the time, then it's the most joyful. But if it's a different place at a different time, then that one's the most joyful. But I'll give you three. One is inside a concert hall waiting for a classical concert and um, or a folk music concert. And then when the musicians are playing and singing and doing what they're doing, you know, performing, I'm very, very joyful. And I'm very joyful if I happen to be in the band or in the chorus because um, that's how I grew up. I was always in some kind of music group. And music is still my life. And um, the second place would be in the woods. And it would be the more time I spend in the woods, the more joyful I am. So like a camping trip. I'm ecstatic by the time I get home. <laughs> anyway, um, the third place is the beach. Yep. And the same thing. The long, Well, no, I usually only like to spend just a day at the beach unless my family are, are staying at a beach house for the weekend and, you know, going to the beach every day, but I'll stay outside next to the water all day and be very joyful okay i really enjoyed doing this tag and i will see you later love you